Hello everybody, I am Ben from Team Panic and today we're going to continue with our ABC preparations by having a look at Annie Are You OK? which is the undercutter beetle that I made uh, very, very recently actually. Now the last couple of times, it, well the last time it fought it had one big issue and that was that the, uh, the weapon drive ended up melting the belt that was running the weapon so after the first hit it stopped, completely dead. Um, the whole robot was also 100 grams underweight, which is not the best idea. And also, I was running the weapon uh, on a single bolt running through polycarbonate, three millimeter polycarbonate at that. Uh, so a couple of people pointed out that maybe I should potentially be using something a little bit stronger and a little bit stiffer than a three millimeter polycarbonate. And I like the idea, but it is a lot of weight. That is until, of course, I found this at a local hardware store. This is kind of 1.2 millimeter steel with some cutouts in it and it's actually this plate is basically a perfect size to fit on Annie Are You OK? So now the plan is we're going to update Annie Are You OK? using this plate as the uh, the base plate that's going to hold the weapon in and yeah everything should go pretty well from there I hope. Um, this is going to be a quick little upgrade. We're also going to upgrade the wheels, we're going to upgrade the wheels to TPU wheels, which is what I wanted on here uh, from the word go. Basically something, anything that's going to take a hit better than these PLA and ABS ones that I have right now. Uh, we're also going to upgrade the standoffs at the same time because right now this is actually sitting on the weapon shaft and I don't really want that. Uh, so we'll see what we do. Like I said, I'm pretty sure we'll just update these standoffs and uh, yeah, for now probably 3D print ones because I'm running out of time. Uh, but I might have time the weekend that this video is going out to actually recut these out of HDPE. Uh, so if I do that, there will probably be a video, a Tuesday video, showing those and also probably doing a paint job on this because I would like this to go from the white and green color scheme to the black and green color scheme, which is kind of sort of the color scheme for my channel. It's definitely the color scheme for the team logo. So if I can, I want to try and put some of that type of stuff into any are you okay as well but that's going to mean a lot of spray painting and things and i've got a lot of building to do before that so i think today we'll focus on the build and then if i do a bonus video it will show the brand new uh paint job that this guy gets or <laughs> this girl whatever uh, gets after all of that other stuff has been done so i think for now we need to work on this plate get this up and running and then we're going to yeah add a different belt system into here so that it doesn't melt this time. Now I'm not sure if the melting was due to the bearing or if it was due to the fact that the uh, belt was actually running on the Lexan because of a mismatch in belt heights. So I've fixed all of those things, I've changed the bearings over and I've also uh, changed the design so that everything should be lined up and level and we shouldn't have that same thing where the belt is out of line and yeah, it runs into things. Okay, I think the first thing we need to do though is pull this whole thing down uh, and then get ready to actually rebuild it.
And that's all the time I have for this week. Uh, we now have a brand new base plate, a metal base plate in Annie Ayuka OK, and we also have brand new thrust bearings in the weapon. And it spins really well. The only problem is that the brand new pulley at the back here that I uh, run on the brushless, brushless motor, it sits really close to where the weapon sits, and the bolts that are sticking out about a mil touch the blade as the blade goes around. It's not an issue all the time, but only when the blade flexes slightly. There's not a lot of flex now in the blade with these new bearings, but there is just a little bit, and it's enough to hit these bolt heads. So I need to reprint this part, but recess the bolt heads in just a little bit, and then everything will be smooth sailing from there. I did obviously also want to try and put in brand new wheels. These are TPU printed wheels, so these are going to be quite impact resistant but I messed up the hubs for them and I don't have time to print these again right now. So we're going to have to uh, wait for those, but they will go in before we go over to ABC. So yeah, there you go. I hope you guys have enjoyed this one, and I will see you in the next video where we finish up the 13 kilo robot that I'm taking to ABC.